Hello my LP Nation. In today's vlog I will be more specific. It's a tech problem. So you bought or you gotten your new iPhone 11 Pro or Pro Max or standard iPhone and you're so happy. But the problem is you started shooting your 4K videos or your full HD videos but you have come to the conclusion that sending your videos to the cloud or by email takes for ages, especially if you're doing those long YouTube videos. Well, in this video I will explain how to easily transfer your videos from an iPhone to your PC and you'll get two extra tips revolving around two problems I didn't see anyone talking about and these are related to pre-adjusting your iPhone to do this, the thing we're talking about. So you might have connected your uh, cable, you might have connected iTunes, installed iTunes uh, and directly tried to transfer the files but you got an error or maybe even got a file that's not readable by for example Premiere Pro or After Effects. What do you do? Well, stick around and I will answer all of these questions in under five minutes so let's go so my LP Nation first step would be go to your settings then go to the camera after you go to the camera you have to go to formats you have to choose most compatible I will show you why no high efficiency, most compatible. And I'm sorry, you won't be able to shot, shoot 4K at 60 FPS, only 4K at 30 FPS with this setting. And you won't be able to have photos and videos captured outside of the frame. And this format is usable in most video editing softwares. Uh, if you choose high efficiency, the file most likely won't be recognized. And I'll show you the message I get in Premiere Pro, in After Effects, and I have to waste like hours on converting it via encoder and you don't want to waste hours because what's the point of using a wire then? You could just upload it to your email and we'll be done. But this is the first step. The second step you need to do, you have to choose your photos and you have to choose keep originals, not automatic, keep originals. Otherwise you won't be able to transfer the files, you will get an error message, you won't be able to transfer the files. Now that you've set up your phone, we can finally connect the phone. I will show you the cables. So. The problem with iPhone Pro is that you get this USB-C to Lightning and you cannot plug this into your PC. Most of the PCs or laptops do not have a port for this. So you will have to get a cable like this and sorry for you see that it's ruined, it's for, for, from my old iPhone 6, but uh, iPhones before iPhone 11 have them. iPhone 11 has them also, sorry. So iPhone Pro has this one fancy new that can't go to, into PC, it's C2 lighting, and you need the classic one. So you need classic USB to lighting. But you can find like, non-original ones um, anyway let's go so you need this cable the next step is if you don't have uh, iTunes you'll have to install it so install iTunes to your Windows you can just type iTunes on the Google and it will give you the result and you can install it after you have installed uh, the items and you opened it you can plug in your iphone and most likely you will get a message if you want to trust this pc or trust this computer you have to obviously tap trust so you have to leave the iphone unlocked while you connect it to your pc after you did that and 
like you registered this iPhone to your PC via iTunes and you clicked trust, you can close the iTunes, you don't have to use it ever again. You can then directly go into iPhone and you will see this my alpination. So you will go to your this PC, you will open your Apple iPhone, you will open this DCIM file and then you will go to your biggest Apple number, mine is 102. Yours is probably 100 if you don't have a lot of uh, videos. And you have to find your video and drag it to your desktop. Voila, that's it. Sorry for the long video, by the way, it's longer than I thought. There are so many issues people stumble upon, you wouldn't believe. So I like made a compilation and wanted to solve the most common three or four issues you could stumble upon. Okay. And thank you very much for watching another behind the scenes vlog. This was a little bit tech heavy, but as you know, as I had one of my vlogs about starting uh, YouTube uh, equipment for beginners, I figured I could do more tech videos to help you guys and help me as well, because this was the problem I was struggling with only a few days ago, because I got this new phone, but I struggled with transferring the files. Anyways, thank you for watching. If this video helped you, please bump a like, sub subscribe to my channel. I post daily, so there will be a lot of value, a lot of videos for you in the coming year. So yeah, support me. Thanks for watching. Bye.